is a world first study that is involving using both GPS and satellite transmitters and we're going to be able to collect phenomenal amounts of data by studying these birds. By using this technology if we can better understand the way they use their habitat, we can work to conserve that habitat and that's what's really needed to save this endangered species. We know with Carnaby's cockatoos that the population has declined by 50% over the last five decades. These are wild birds that have been injured and have been treated at Perth Zoo and have undergone rehabilitation here at Carrick and Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre. All of these birds will be released back out into wild flocks and then our research team will be able to follow them and monitor them. We've released five sets of birds. We've got 36,000 GPS locations and nearly 8,000 kilometres worth of tracks. We're only in the very start of the project, so I expect that we'll double, if not triple, that amount of data. It means that once we know those particular habitat characteristics that are important, that we can model it over large scales. By studying the movements of these birds, we're going to be able to identify high conservation value habitat that can assist decision makers with ensuring that that habitat is conserved into the future. We're working with the Department of Parks and Wildlife, Perth Zoo and Newmont Boddington Gold and South 32 in order to really um, try and address these key ecological questions which are so important for conservation management of this species.